Matt Mochigrosso here, creator of Xenoplicity and the Q system it runs on. Today's video is going to be in the advancement system. Uh, we're going to take a look at how advancing works in Xenoplicity, how, how things are uh, improved in the Q system. And guys, just like everything else, we try to make this fun, engaging, innovative. Um, so the way advancing works in Xenoplicity is just really, really cool. Uh, this is the way it works. At the end of every single game session, the player gets to pick one thing that they used during the game session to try to advance. Now, that might mean that for an attribute or a skill, you get to uh, gain a new one um, at a rating of one, uh, or you can take something that you already have and you can try to improve it by moving it up by one, okay? Um, now, it has to be something you used in the game session. So uh, this is Balric Stonefist here. He's the character that we made together in the character creation video. He's also the character we used in our sample mechanics video where we got into a fight with some works and uh, he was victorious. If that was the session we were doing the advancing for, then at the end of that session, he would have to um, either try to um, advance his strength, his dexterity, his archery, or his blades because that's all he we did in that video. That's all that he... He practiced and, and, and did. Um, well, he also jumped out of the way of a boulder, so I guess he could try to improve his reflex as well. Um, but let's say for the sake of this video uh, that he wants to improve his blades skill. He's got a rating of one in it now. So I'm going to roll a D4 at the end of the session, and I need to roll a two or higher to advance blades from times one to times two. So I'll roll this die. I got a four, that's enough. So I now have blades two. So I'm gonna mark that here. And that's it guys, that's the advancement. That's how that works. Uh, and you get to do that at the end of every session. Now, what if I didn't succeed? Had I failed that, had I rolled a one and I have a one, so I uh, did not roll higher, then uh, what that means is, is that my, my advancing of blades would be banked, but I don't get the point yet, okay? And so what that means is, is that at the end of next week's session, uh, I would have a D6 banked because the die size goes up once for every failure that you rolled. So if I also got to use my blades in the following game session, uh, at the end of that session, if I wanted to try to advance the same thing, I would get to roll a D6 instead of a D4. And again, I just need to roll higher than what I already had. Now, if I failed again, the following session, if I still use blades in that session, then I could roll a D8 instead of a D6. And so if you fail the roll, like let's say I did not achieve that and I, I, I failed to get a two or higher on that roll that I just made, um, this would still be a one and I would just kind of mark down here blades and then I'll put a D6 next to it because that's what, that's what I've got banked for that for future rolls to advance my blade skill. I would have a D6 instead of a D4 to roll for it at a future time. And so maybe maybe the following session, I don't even get into a fight, so I don't use my blade skill. Well, then I couldn't advance this. I couldn't even roll that D6 in that moment. Instead, if it was like a social heavy um, you know, game session where I, I did a lot of um, talking and hanging out at a party or something like that, well, then I, might, then I would be advancing something different and I would always have that D6 bank towards blades whenever I got back around to wanting to roll for that again, you know, during a session that I used my blade skill, okay? But as it stands, uh, I did get the blades. So at the end of the following game session, uh, at this point, I could try to advance anything else that I want to that I did during the, the next session and I would just have that D4 as normal. OK, uh, and there's a way to advance with perks as well as additional roles. If you wanted to try to add on another role, um, you can also um, you can do that. But those values that you need to roll are a lot higher than just your current rating. Um, if you want to try to gain a new customization at a skill or an attribute, you have to roll a four. Um, and, on the on the roll so it's harder to learn something new at the rating of one than it is to advance something that already exists at a rating of one or even two um, however perks you have to roll a six or higher to achieve it so it's going to take several weeks for you to even get that kind of roll uh, and then rolls uh, you have to roll an eight or higher and so what that means is if you're trying to advance a perk or a roll then you the first week or two weeks you don't even get to make the roll you just are banking your progression towards trying to achieve those kind of uh, greater benefits 
So for instance, if there was a perk that I really wanted and the director uh, acknowledged that it was a perk that I could gain through experience, not all of them you can, some of them have to be gained through role playing instead. Uh, but if it was a perk that the game master said, yeah, yeah, you can get that through advancing, sure, great. So the first week, obviously I can't roll a six on a d4. So the first week I would just bank my progression towards whatever perk it was that I wanted to get. And then the second week at the end of this session, assuming I'm still role playing, doing things that would narratively get me that perk, uh, I would get to roll a d6 and I would have to roll a six or higher on this d6. Uh, again, not likely to happen, but it may. Um, but if it doesn't, then the third week of, again, you'd have to role play doing things to, you know, in, in your downtime, doing things that would be, uh, you know, working towards getting whatever that perk was. But then at the third week, I would roll a D8. So I'd get a D8. And again, I need a six or higher. And you see how that goes. Okay. So this, this advancement system, it just works very well. It's simple. It's efficient. It, 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 it doesn't require a lot of bookkeeping. It's, it's very straightforward. And players love it.